How to Replace the Motherboard Before you begin, remove the side panel, the optical drive if installed, the front bezel, hard drive cage, memory module, wireless LAN board, M.2 solid state drive, and the wireless antenna cover on the rear of the chassis. Removal Important To prevent damage to the motherboard and the cables, disconnect all the cables perpendicular to the motherboard. Disconnect the following cables from the motherboard. SATA data cable for the optical drive. SATA power cable for the optical drive. SATA data cable for the hard disk drive. SATA power cable for the hard disk drive. Remove the seven T15 Torx head screws that secure the motherboard to the chassis. Partially lift the front of the motherboard upwards. Carefully slide the motherboard to the front of the chassis to release the connectors from the rear I.O. panel. Lift the rear edge of the motherboard and carefully pull it out of the chassis. Replacement Important! Before replacing the motherboard, you must first restore the CMOS factory settings. Grasp the motherboard by the edges and carefully insert the front edge of the motherboard at an angle to the chassis. Lower the motherboard onto the chassis and align it with the metal tabs on the chassis. Tow the rear I.O. connectors into the rear I.O. panel until the motherboard sits snugly in place. Replace the seven T15 Torx head screws to secure the motherboard to the chassis. Reconnect the following cables to their connectors on the motherboard. SATA power cable for the hard disk drive. SATA data cable for the hard disk drive. SATA power cable for the optical drive. SATA data cable for the optical drive. Note, after reassembling the desktop, you need to enter system BIOS and reset the time and date settings in the BIOS.